it's Jennifer Paganelli with another tutorial for you and this one is glitzy sequins on felt. We're going to make a wonderful sisboom bouquet and we're also going to make this sweet, this is um, not, hasn't been done, but this has all been sewn to felt and that will enable you to make this wonderful headdress that everybody has seen in the photos and loves um, with feathers. So we also have this wonderful neck piece that you can also make. But these are just ideas. Once you get making the circles and the sewing with felt, you're gonna just take it and run with it. I know you will. You guys are all so talented and I can't wait to get you started. Today, you're gonna need your glue gun, some felt. Also on uh, Etsy, you can find round circles of felt and you're going to need um, fabric covered stems from Michaels and any kind of ribbon. You know, you could get rickrack, you can get this beautiful ribbon. I think I found that on eBay. Um, you're also gonna need a pile of sequins. And what I do is I keep my seed beads, I just pour them in, and when I need a seed bead, I just pick up, sort of shuffle, and there's a seed bead that I can use. So um, you can keep an extra container of seed beads. This is how I do it. Um, these are great. Also, punched out circles. You'll need thin, thin needles, and that's about it. So here you have one that I've started, and these are all complete, and I do them, again, I order them um, felt circles. I order them pre-cut on Etsy, and I get all different sizes. And so now we're working on this one. So as you can see, I've pulled up, and the back's a mess. I want you to see that because that's just part of how it works. Then what I'm going to do is pick up a handful and they're gonna fall all over the place but this is for demonstration purposes. And then we're gonna just go through. Um, I start picking through, picking through, picking through with your needle. So here we have the seed bead and then you're gonna pull down and go through here Go back down through, not through the seed bead. You go around the seed bead and pull down. So there you have it. And what I've done is I've gone from big to little just to cover the whole thing because that's the kind of look that I'm after. So here we have the seed bead and then you're gonna pull down and go through here. Go back down through, not through the seed bead. You go around the seed bead and pull down. So there you have it. And what I've done is I've gone from big to little just to cover the whole thing because that's the kind of look that I'm after. Here you have some wonderful circles. I've also done strips. Um, I do this while I'm watching TV, Dateline, or <laughs> whatever is a long TV show, and I just sew mindlessly. Here you have some wonderful circles. I've also done strips. Um, I do this while I'm watching TV, Dateline or <laughs> whatever is a long TV show and I just sew mindlessly and then you're able to make a wonderful headpiece by just um, gluing feathers to the back of this strip and uh, using rickrack or some other ribbon to tie. Here you have your wonderful bouquet that we talked about earlier and this has all been done on felt so very simple. So what you're gonna do is take your cloth covered wire that um, it, it's in the like the floral art section you're gonna make a loop and you're gonna bend it that simple and I'm not gonna do this but I'm gonna show you then you place it on the back of your felt hot glue just like so and then I t because it's hot I take a little cut out disc that I've done with a punch and cover it and then pick it up let it dry and you know put it down and there you have you know your so again you you form a loop bend it flatten it on the back of your your flower use a punch to cover it and that will keep it in place so here don't tell anyone I'm going to show you the back of mine and that's how I've done it. I've used little yellow pieces of felt. 
and that's so pretty and it can be used for weddings, rehearsal dinners, it's just a lot of fun. And then you're able to make a wonderful headpiece by just um, gluing feathers to the back of this strip and using rickrack or some other ribbon to tie. Here you have your wonderful bouquet that we talked about earlier. And this has all been done on felt, so very simple. So what you're gonna do is take your cloth covered wire that um, it, it's in the, like the floral art section. You're gonna make a loop and you're gonna bend it. That simple. And I'm not gonna do this, but I'm gonna show you. Then you place it on the back of your felt, hot glue, just like so. And then I, t because it's hot, I take a little cut out disc that I've done with a punch and cover it and then pick it up, let it dry and, you know, put it down. And there you have, you know, your, so again, you, you form a loop, bend it, flatten it on the back of your, your flower, use a punch to cover it and that will keep it in place. So here, don't tell anyone, I'm going to show you the back of mine and that's how I've done it. I've used little yellow pieces of felt. And that's so pretty and it can be used for weddings, rehearsal dinners, it's just a lot of fun. Okay guys, so now you see the necklace. Very simple, but how much fun is that? So I want to show you guys how to do this. So again, we go back to the circles that we created using sequins and sewing sequins on a circle. And then what we do is you're, you're going to decide how you want your necklace to look. And I've actually made one that's kind of like this. It's a lot of fun. I love how the felt sort of catches this. And then maybe two more. So obviously you can see the configuration of your necklace. Hot glue these down, right into place. Now again, for me to show you actually how to do this, it would take hours of footage. So we're just gonna keep it simple. If you have questions, don't worry about asking us, we're happy to help you. But you glue each one down. Hot glue is great. Any other glue is really, uh, I don't think it's necessary. Hot glue I use for everything. So then what you're gonna do, once that's all set, you're gonna cut around this, leaving all your joints connected, obviously, because you want that necklace intact. But you're gonna cut around your felt, and since these are on felt, you'll get a nice substance when you, when you go to cut. You're gonna cut around them, all of them, so you have just, you'll cut here, and you'll have just this necklace piece. Then what we're gonna do is sort of pretend here, but why not hot glue a little necklace there? Right? And this one, and hot glue a little necklace there. Now remember, this is all that you have, really. This, all this felt is gone. So then you can just take ribbon and hot glue it to the backs. Very simple. And I did this, the way I did this was, just so you know, is I hot glued these pieces to felt and then cut around them. Stuck a ribbon in and a little ornament, a Christmas ornament at the bottom to make them really fun. So there you have it. That is your tutorial for today. Let me know how you're doing. I love to hear and uh, have a wonderful day. So let's give Madeline a round of applause for that beautiful film footage. And uh, I wanted to show you my wonderful glitter, glittery feathery crown and my beautiful necklace. If you have questions, feel free to fire away. But we love you guys. Thanks so much for taking a look at our tutorial today.